Hello and welcome back to another Project HD video and today Well, we've got some of the worst news we've had in a long time and I don't normally do videos like this on Project HD I'm not like a depressing channel, but it's uh, f I found it necessary this time because it This player felt a bit closer to me than other players because of not only my experience with him on FIFA, but because of his youth. Um, and well, we've already had a recent death this year of the goalkeeper, the African goalkeeper. I forgot his name. I believe it began with an A or an E or a K, I think. I'm not quite certain. Of course, a few years ago, we had Christian Benitez. But Junior Melanda has now died, unfortunately. He died in a severe car crash. And um, if I just quickly get the news report up now, then I'm looking at the Daily Mirror currently and I can see a really, really sad uh, headline saying Wolfsburg youngster suffers fatal injuries in car accident. And I think, I think it just puts everything into perspective. Like, when we use him on FIFA, you don't realise how seriously insane that is. Like, he is like so young and he was so normal of a player such normal of a guy he was tweeting literally on christmas the other day he was on facebook literally two days ago it's just a massive shock and my thoughts are with him and his family and well i think i think for stars as well, he's in my Everton career mode, so people will be asking what I'll be doing with him there. I think it will be difficult because, especially if he likes scores and stuff, it might feel a bit disrespectful to him. But he's a great player on FIFA. He's a great player in real life, had a great, great future ahead of him. Never got to play out all his potential, never got to reach his peak, which is a real shame because by the looks of it, it seems to be a very very severe accident apparently the car flung off a guardrail and then crashed into a tree apparently he died immediately on the scene it's incredibly sad um and well it's it's really really sad upsetting to see a 20 year old die at such uh, like well a 20 year old of course it's such a young age but I think the fact that he's a footballer as well, I mean, this hasn't, this doesn't change anything, whether it's a footballer or any normal person. Of course, it, people die all the time, and it means just as much to other people, even if there's more people who know about a certain death. Every death means just as much. And this one, though, there's something about it. Like, Benitez, although he was a great player, he was already pretty much played out to his peak, he wasn't ever going to meet any big clubs. It's the fact that this guy, young Belgium as well, he's Belgian, and I mean, it's just the fact that he is so, so popular. He is a real, real good player. He's played against some class clubs, of course, played against Everton the other day, was recently last featured. It's the way that it's so sudden, I think. I think it's really, really shocking the way that it's so sudden. One moment you just think next year's FIFA are always going to be awesome. Yeah, yeah. He's going to play out an awesome career and stuff like that. He's going to become a great player. And then suddenly, after watching him like on TV the other day, you could have been watching him on, him on TV and then suddenly he's dead. It's unbelievable. I can't quite comprehend it. Um, I think at this sort of time, I think people shouldn't take advantage of that. To take advantage of that and use his virtual player and ultimate team and, of course, make money out of it. So I bet right now his card on ultimate team is spiking up in money. For people to fix his price and do that, I think that's just wrong. I think that's messed. Why would you take a virtual version of a dead person and try and sell him just for your benefit on ultimate team? I mean, it's happened with this goalkeeper... Um, any armor? Was it like any armor or something? I think it might have been. And it's also happened with Christian Benitez. He went for absolute t tons. But it's been two major deaths this year already. I mean, it's since FIFA 15 was released, it's been two major deaths, which is unbelievable. I mean, it's really, really difficult to comprehend, to understand how such a 
bright prospects could be taken away from us so, so early, like ridiculously early, like 20, 20 years old. That is, that is nothing, that is absolutely nothing. And it was really, really depressing news when I, when I heard about this. I couldn't believe, the, I just couldn't believe it. I think, I just simply couldn't believe it. And I thought, well, yes, maybe a lot of you already know, but I thought, I'll do this video paying some respect to him because, well, he was a great, great talent and he was, he was a great, great player. And I'm not just basing this on FIFA either. I mean, don't think that I'm just doing this for FIFA. I did it based on real life events, based on watching him play, and well, based on his Belgian performances as well. He was going to probably be one of the first team Belgian central defence midfielders. I mean, it's just, it's really hard to believe how literally I was just watching the video, uh, Channy Sports' video, I looked down at the comments, he was in Channy Sports' video and then suddenly he's dead. Like, that's just simply, you don't expect to come back and hear that, do you? I mean, I just came home from, uh, football or whatever but you don't expect to come home and hear something that shocking and that upsetting because it is very upsetting to think how sudden that could be and how unfair that is on him he had a great great year ahead of him great career great season ahead of him probably as well i think everybody's hearts need to be with his family at the moment and of course his teammates and his friends Kevin De Bruyne recently tweeted out, along with Mario Gerste as well. I'll leave links into this in the description of news feeds and news sections if you want to read into the accident in a bit more detail. But all I'm going to say now is uh, rest in peace, Junior. And I really, really, really wish you weren't gone. You had a great future. And it's a real, real shame and a really, really sad news. Of, well, it seems like a pretty severe death as well. By the looks of it, it seemed pretty pretty horrible the way that he died. What I do wonder though is who was he in with? Um, so yeah, he was found dead at the scene according to BILD, which I believe is a German German news reporter. I just, who, who was he with? Like, who was he with in uh, that, in that car? Like, Anyway, I do thank you for watching. Um, please, please hit like and support for Melanda. I mean, obviously that seems a bit weird, but I mean, I think this video was just to show that guy a bit of respect and that it's this world is merciless and it's unfair on him. And I just can't believe how, like, I, th I know I'm relating this to FIFA again, but I played with him in FIFA the other day and now suddenly he's dead. Like. What happens when I continue playing with him on FIFA? What happens then? It feels really weird every time he's going to be on the ball, every time he makes a pass, especially when he scores. It'll feel really, really weird. I just can't believe that the other day he was alive and now he's dead. I know that sounds really basic and simple, but the way that everything was so normal and then suddenly the player who's played against the likes of Bayern Munich, Everton, Bruce Dortmund, Bruce Simmons and Gladbach, all them amazing teams. Played with an amazing team in Wolfsburg, currently second in the Bundesliga, on course for a great season. And, well, that very, very sad news has came through. So, anyway, I mean, I will see you next time uh, if you do stick around for a less depressing video. But all I'm going to say now is rest in peace, Junior. And, well, yeah, that pretty much brings us to the end.